We understand that because we, we, we found different response. And yeah. believe me, it's just not true. Um, I'm watching a video by Robbie Lawrence. He gets he's visited by Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, Robbie Lawrence is visited by Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, but uh, Robbie's not taking time to listen to this guy. Not necessarily agree with him. I don't want you to agree with him. I don't want you to buy anything he's offering at your door. But listen to what he's saying. Uh, you completely, first of all, just broad brushed this guy with Christianity. The Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians. Actually, they're similar to the Judaism in regards to their belief on Jesus Christ. They believe Jesus was a good teacher. Sometimes, sometimes he's an angel. He v It varies on who you're talking to. And if you notice when you ask him questions, what is he offering, there's no straight answer. He doesn't give you a straight answer. Because he is more religious than you are. Actually, he's more occultist. He's more devoted to working his way up to heaven. A little different than Christianity. Christianity of the New Testament, it teaches different. That God, Yahweh himself, manifested himself in Christ Jesus, became flesh, and dwelt amongst, amongst us. That he was divine and man all together. That would be a big, fat, long video for me to explain, but I would love to. My question to you, Robbie, is um, this. I am very, very, and genuinely, sir, inquisitive and want to know about how the Jewish people, the modern, the now Jewish people, perceive Jesus Christ. The reason why is, do you believe Jesus was a good teacher? One. And if your answer is yes to that, then there's contradiction because he tells the Pharisees and the Jewish people back then that some amazing things to where it was disturbing to them which they ended up crucifying him. Um, some of those is that he tells them like that law you said you put on your door or a fragment of the Torah that you kiss and you look at every day and you study it. He says something about that in scripture. He says that you think you're going to find salvation or you think you're going to find redemption on the scriptures, but the scriptures and the law themselves are going to come back and condemn you. What do you th think he meant by that? Or if you could just tell me that he was just a complete heretic out of his mind. And he was completely just a false teacher. If you say that, then I guess this conversation is over. But what is the view of the Jewish people on Jesus Christ? And I just look so much forward to your answer. And thank you.